Damn! Hello, it's Boss, and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a quick overview of how to earn a decent amount of credits with minimal investment using a free car that will complete effectively at the 700 performance points level. This guide is about making use of the new 8 lap Le Mans race added in patch 1.1. Using both a relatively low top speed of the cars, fuel consumption, and unique tuning to easily clear the race in about 30 minutes. In addition, I'm going to show you how to do this to earn the clean race bonus each and every time. I'll drop a summary of the tips and tips, as well as a track overview, which should help you get faster lap times and learn the course at the end of the video. To start with, select your preferred car. I've been using the 4 GT. It's tuned specifically for this track, which again is free from the Cafe Series 26. Check out the link now for a complete summary of that tune, including an overview of all performance parts and settings you'll need. The 4 GT is a solid option, but by all means if you have other options available, feel free to use them. There are plenty of vehicles that will work with this method, and many will post a quicker time than the GT. This guide was designed for players that were broke when patch 1.1 dropped like myself, so I carved out some time looking at my own garage for potential cars that would work, and the 4 GT just happened to be one that I wanted to explore a little further. It actually turned out to be a great option as it not only can set the fastest lap with reduced fuel consumption, but it can maintain great entry and exit speed on corners. So now you've got your car, you've purchased a set of intermediate and or wet tires, and you're tuned to 700 performance points. So how do we consistently win to earn those credits over and over? So here's the general strategy. Number one, select your fuel mapping and set it to six. You'll want to pit as few times as possible. You can get through this race with a single pit stop in most vehicles, but I will note that it's really weather dependent. With the 4 GT specifically from my testing, I know you're going to earn enough time ahead of the competition to pit multiple times if needed, so focus more on having the correct tires for the weather and fuel conservation to play the long game. Number 2. Stay out as long as you can. Push hard on laps 1-2 to two and keep that mapping at 6, but you can get to first place easily at the end of lap 2 the beginning of lap 3, and typically I've noticed the weather changes around the end of the third lap, meaning you're usually in an ideal place to determine if you need to tire swap or not. Number 3. Draft cars on straights and don't overextend in corners. The GT has improved handling versus any other car on the track, so not only can you enter corners faster, but you can easily outmaneuver them, exiting faster and passing them shortly after corners as needed. Tip number 4. On lap 2 or 3, start to watch the weather. You can either flip to your weather radar, zooming in and out to see if any storms are coming. I find it helpful to also watch the traction icon on the bottom left. Once the water level begins to fill to about half, I'll consider pitting to change tires. If the weather is just overcast and a light shower, I'll remain on racing hard tires. If it's a full downpour, I'll usually pit and change over to wet tires and complete 1-2 to two laps before flipping back to racing hards. Tip number 5. Be careful on full acceleration on long sweeping corners with this tune. Even with increased downforce, this car does have a tendency to get light with applied power in tight corners. Brake hard and straight, then roll the car as needed. It'll make it easier in general. Again, I'm sure there are better cars for this track. This guide again was specifically made for players that didn't have 40 million credits after 1.1 dropped. And tip number 6, don't stress about an extra pit stop. And refuel to full on every single time you do pit. I've been burned a few times going too lean on fuel and having to feather throttle in addition to mapping to fuel 6. Just take the extra 2-3 to three seconds and get a full tank. It gives you extra options for how aggressive you want to drive on the final few laps of the race. So in summary, in total this race will take you about 31 minutes to complete on a relatively stock car with a simple tune. On a dry course you can run on average about 4 minutes, 12-15 to 15 seconds per lap. On a wet course you should be running in the 5 minute range. 520. Finishing two races takes about 64 minutes with a clean race bonus and will net you just over 1.6 million credits per hour. Again, this is repeatable, it's an enjoyable cheap budget car to run, and with a minimal startup cost for the tune. You can easily finish this race with over a minute ahead of the nearest competitor depending on the weather, so don't stress about making an extra pit stop. You're going to need to stay a bit fluid on your decision making on laps 3 and 4. Out of the dozen races I've run, I'd say 2-3 to three have had heavy rain, where wet tires were absolutely required. The vast majority of them, I've seen light rain, meaning I was able to stay on hard tires or intermediate for the bulk of the race. I've been able to complete the race with 3 stops before, so your biggest hurdle in this race is simply not getting caught with the wrong tires halfway through the lap. Personally, I've stocked intermediate and wet tires just so I have options during the race. 
I found this race to be a great way to earn money, and to be honest, I've enjoyed having a somewhat comparable car to others on the track. You can definitely use a faster car, and doing so will shave a few minutes off the overall time. If you're new to the game and have a lighter wallet, this guide will help you build a bankroll to invest in the perfect car for this method. As always, thank you for your time. If you enjoy this content and want to see more guides in the future, please like and comment below. It helps a ton with growing my channel on YouTube. If you're looking for a mature gaming community, consider joining our 22 Gaming Discord. It's a group of dedicated gamers and content creators that play multiple titles over numerous time zones, so there's always someone around if you want a game. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.